Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of differential equations. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us let alpha be a non-zero real number. And it's telling you suppose f is a function which is a differentiable function given to us with a condition that says f of 0 is equals to 2 and limit x tends to minus infinity f of x equals 1. Then the question further tells us if the differential equation is given to us as f dash of x equals to alpha into f of x plus 3 for all x belongs to r then the question is asking us to figure out what is the value of f of minus log 2 to the base e equals to. So that is the question asked to us and if I talk about the answer choices that we have here the options are 7, 9, 3 and 5. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for this question that is asked to us here. Let's try to solve the question and let's try to simplify and find out the correct answer choice. Before starting off with the solution for this question, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis and it is free for you but also motivates me to put up better content and try to make the solutions as easy as possible so you understand them in a better way. Let's try to solve the question now. So I have been given here that f dash of x equals to alpha f of x plus 3. So f dash of x basically means if I have f of x to be defined first, we know we denote f of x also as y. So if y is f of x, dy over dx becomes f dash of x. And if I have that, I can write my differential equation f dash of x equals f alpha f of x plus 3. I can write this is dy over dx equals alpha x or alpha y plus 3. So I can write this is dy over dx minus alpha y equals to 3. So once I have this differential equation, what I can do further here is I can write this dy over dx plus py equals q. Once I have this with me, I can write p is basically minus alpha, q is equals to 3. Now from here, once I have this, from the general equation, I can write my integrating factor if becomes e raised to integral p dx. So if I use that idea here, I get if that is integrating factor is equals to e raised to P in this case, we know it's minus alpha dx. So that gives me e raised to minus alpha integral of 1 dx, which is x. So you get from here e raised to minus alpha x. That basically becomes your if, that's integrating factor. Now, once I have that with me, I can further write the solution to that differential equation as y into if is equal to integral of q into if into dx plus c. So once I have that y into if, I know e raised to minus alpha x integral of q, q in this question that we have been given here, it's 3. So q is equals to 3. If is e raised to minus alpha x dx plus c. So from here, if I see what I get is y e raised to minus alpha x equals 3 e raised to minus alpha x, the integral of that is e raised to minus alpha x, dividing it by the coefficient of x, that is minus alpha, plus c. So I get this solution of the differential equation. Once I get this solution of the differential equation, how I can solve further is, I can just use my conditions which are given to us here. The condition being f of 0 equals to 2, means I know at x equals to 0, y is equals to 2. So I will use that. So I'm using at x equals 0, y equals to 2. So we have this condition with us. Further, if I solve it, at x equals to 0, if I'm putting y equals to 2. 
from here I get 2 e raised to 0 which is basically 1 so this becomes 2 so 2 is equals to minus 3 over alpha this if I again put 0 becomes 1 so minus 3 over alpha plus c so 2 is equals to minus 3 over alpha plus c so I have this equation with me Next equation, next condition that I've been given here is limit x tends to minus infinity f of x. So that if I write it, limit x tends to minus infinity f of x, I know it is nothing but y. So if I have my differential equations solution in terms of y already, so if I want to have it in terms of y, my solution, what I can do further is I can further divide everything in the solution with e raised to minus alpha x. So if I do that, my differential equation now becomes this and this cancels, this and this also cancels. So you get y equals minus 3 over alpha plus c e raised to alpha x. So this becomes your new differential equation. And if I now take the limit of this idea, limit extends to minus infinity y in this case we got this is minus 3 over alpha plus this becomes c e raised to alpha x. So if I put it here it gives you c e raised to alpha x. Now once I have this if I apply the limits directly putting the limit so minus 3 over alpha as it is because there is no x plus c e raised to minus infinity and e raised to minus infinity is 0 that gives me minus 3 over alpha as your answer and once I get that what I understand is it's given to me limit extends to minus infinity f of x the value for that was given to me equals to 1 so when that is given equals to 1 I can just equate this with 1 and if I equate this with 1 what I get here is minus 3 over alpha equals 1 so alpha goes there gets multiplied becomes minus 3 equals 1 so I get the value of alpha that is minus 3 now, once I get the value of alpha equals minus 3, I can find the value for c as well, putting it in this equation. So, if I put it in this equation, I get 2 equals to minus 3 over minus 3 plus c. That gives me this is 1. So, 2 is 1 plus c. So, c in this case becomes 2 minus 1, which is 1. So, I get alpha minus 3. I get c 1. Once I get the value of alpha as minus 3 and c as 1, my solution of the differential equation becomes y equals so it should not be dy by dx it should be y equals it was minus 3 over alpha plus c into e raised to alpha x so from here i get minus 3 over minus 3 plus c e raised to minus 3 x that basically becomes your differential equation so this becomes 1 plus c also we know now it is 1 so let's just directly put it so i get 1 plus e raised to minus 3 x being your final solution of the differential equation. Now the question if I see it is asking me to figure out the function of minus log 2 to the base e. So if I have my y as f of x, instead of x I am substituting this value of minus log 2 to the base e. So if I do that here, y equals 1 plus e raised to minus 3x means my f of x, it is 1 plus e raised to minus 3x. So if I want to find f of minus log 2 to the base e, it becomes 1 plus e raised to minus 3 into minus log 2 to the base e. That if I see minus 3 into minus 1 basically makes it e raised to 3 log 2 to the base e. That 3 which is present in the log, if I take it on the other side, it becomes a power of 2. So it basically makes it 1 plus e raised to log 2 raised to 3 to the base e. That makes it 1 plus e raised to log 8 to the base e. Now, whenever I have this function with me, where you have e raised to log of f of x to the base e, I know this can be also written as f of x directly. So if I use that idea, I can write this is 1 plus 8. And 1 plus 8 basically gives you 9. So I get the answer for the question that is asked to us, and that matches with 9. So that basically matches with option B. So B becomes a correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of 
using the differential equations. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JEE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JEE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions that we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.